I'm Mark Travis, and this is Inside the Travis Technique. It is how the character is born. It is how the character is formed. The character is formed just the way a diamond is formed. A diamond is just coal under pressure. I'm putting the character under pressure, such extreme pressure, that the only way to survive is to dig deeper into who he is. The character has to be more honest with himself, more authentic, and present himself the way he wants to be, regardless of what I say, regardless of what I accuse him of, regardless of how I praise him. He will stay true to himself. And in that process, a character will start to emerge. It's like birth. A character comes out all on their own. And there is absolutely no room for the actor. The actor gets dismissed. The actor would be, in fact, the actor would be a huge problem right now. Because the actor is out there on the side thinking, oh, I think you should play it this way. Totally useless. We all emerged who we are as human beings under extraordinary pressure. Think about it. From the moment you were born, there's pressure for you. To all the way through childhood, adolescence, adulthood, think about all the pressure. Think about everything about who you are and how you became who you are. And I can guarantee you it was under pressure. Pressure from you, pressure from family, pressure from friends, pressure from society, and you responded as best as you could and tried to stay true to who you are. And that's how you became formed. Now all I'm doing through the interrogation process is compressing all that time down into just a few minutes. And under pressure within an actor, I will create a character that the actor doesn't even know who or he or she is to begin with. Has no idea. And one important thing about this process very important concept is my belief, deep-seated belief, that once I have cast an actor in a role, the character exists inside the actor. The actor does not have to create a character. The actor does not have to develop a character. The actor has to release the character, but the actor cannot release the character on his own. He can't do that because if I say to the actor, okay, release the character, you go, what are you talking about? I can't do that. Because as soon as I do that, the actor's brain is working trying to do something. I have to help him do it by shutting down the actor and letting the character emerge under pressure. Not relaxed, under pressure.